What's up guys, it's Andrew. I hijacked Brendan's channel and you know what time it is. It's Tuesday, so let's go whore up. Oh, that's my line, dude. What the hell? <sighs> People taking my lines and shit. All right, Andrew, we're inside Mount Asia right now, man. Yeah, dude. Look at this place, it's a ghost town. No, I know, like you said when we were driving up here, you haven't been here, si been here since you were a kid. No, didn't they film the movie, Dude, Where's My Car, over here? Yeah, well, Dude, Where's Balrat? We just no, I know, Balrat. right? You know, Zoltan. Oh yeah, man. But like, I'm over here with, with him, just looking at all the old games that they have here, and some new ones also. And uh, there's something I wanted to try when I came here today, and uh, I'm gonna be doing so in a few moments. Are you killing aliens, Andrew? Oh, yeah. Yes. All right, Andrew. We're outside here at Mount Asia, and I'm about to get on the go-karts, man. Something I haven't been able to do, you know, ever. I don't think I've, I, I did it, maybe when I was a kid, but ever since I started losing weight, I'm definitely under the weight limit now, so I can get on there and, and do my thing. So, yeah, I'm gonna get on there with the GoPro. Hopefully I get some footage on there. All right, guys, I'm on the go-karts right now for the first time since I was a kid. Oh, man. Let's do it. First time doing go-karts since I was like not even a teenager, man. Dude, congratulations, man. That oh. was crazy. Oh my Dude, god. You took the lead twice. I know. But First I, of all, how'd you lose the lead? I want to know. No, because <laughs> I, I was doing the GoPro thing trying to get there. Dude, that's wild, man. How do you feel? It was kind of fun, dude. Like, I was glad there was like, you know, people there to race with. I, I bumped one person. I didn't mean to. And I'm like, oh shit. But like, I don't know. But it was all fun, is though. Fair and, you know. It's all, all is fair and love and racing. <laughs> right? Go. Hopefully the GoPro uh, stuff I got on there works. And, uh, but anyways, guys, Andrew and I, this is a hoarding up video, baby. It's good to work. This man. is not no go kart video. Let's go to, let's go hoarding. All right, guys, we made it on over to Walmart. About to head on in there to find out what goodies come out today. The only thing I'm really looking for today is the Poltergeist uh, 2 and 3 double pack Blu ray that came out. Hopefully, I find it because I know on Amazon it's like $13.49 or something like that. But I'm going to be heading on into Walmart right now to see if they have it. But guys, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to be talking about some new DVDs and Blu rays I, uh, I watched over the last uh, couple days and I want to talk to you guys about them. So, Andrew, we're in Walmart now, man, and they have these noodles here. How many, do you, have you ever used these in your life at all? Actually, I have. You have? Yeah, my grandparents had a pool growing up. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, in my in mind, in my memory, maybe, I don't know because I was a kid, but I think these came out in the 90s. I don't know if they were. Yeah. Or not. And so my grandparents jumped on it when, and the pool, and I had tons of cousins that would come over. Yeah. But look at this, yeah. dude. Like, do you think they, Walmart really needs this many, you know, pool noodles? I think it's a little. Excessive excessive in my opinion but like i'm thinking i might get this hat because you know andrew says i look sexy so i might get it oh yeah all right guys over at the movie section now let's take a look at what some of the new ones came out today american sniper which i think best buy or somewhere else has the steelbook of it out kind of liked it more than i thought i was going to 50 shades of gray came out already hot tub time machine 2 strange magic and duck dynasty Ugh. and guys also orange is the new black season 2 uh, came out today on Blu-ray and DVD and Glee the final season, which you know I'm gonna have to get up on sooner or later I don't know. I think I might have ordered it or, or got it off offline already, but I'm not quite sure. Hey, dude. What about you, man? Is there anything you're interested in? Hey, dude. 
Hey, dude. Oh, yeah, the complete series. I know they had that here. 1999. I got that like a, a, a month or two ago, man. Right on, man. It's crazy because most of that stuff's burnt on demand, we were just saying a little bit ago. Yeah, and they also have the WrestleMania 31. Dude. The one, the, isn't, that, isn't that the event you were at? Yeah, man. I, I kind of want to get this, but they don't have it on Blu ray. Dude. Yeah, it, it, that's out on Blu ray. Oh, I think it's at Best Buy or something. I mean, I have it on the network if I want to rewatch it again, but yeah. something about it, like, I own all the WrestleManias I've been to, so I kind of just want to grab this one, too, anyway. I know what you mean. I have, I have all of them, too. Even that, like, that gold box one and everything oh, yeah, yeah, with yeah. The, the, the anthology. Especially because, dude, this was one of the better Manias in a long time. Have you seen it yet? No, not yet, dude. but do, do you think you can see yourself in it if you get it? Or are you, like, close uh, enough or no? Actually, there is one spot where you can see me, actually. Oh, yeah? The camera panned right by our section, yeah. That's pretty dope, yeah. dude. All right, man. We're over here at the Beast right now. Hopefully they have that Poltergeist Blu-ray I'm looking for because uh, Walmart didn't have it. Dude, which is kind of crazy because they have a ton of horror stuff right now. No, I know, right? Sense. Yeah. But who knows what we're going to find up in the Beast. Hey, Andrew, look what came out today, dude. Oh, dude the new Jerry that. Lawler DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. They yeah. Did, they did a preview last night on the network. Oh, they did of the whole yeah. the thing? Yeah. Is it a documentary or just like random matches? No, I, I think it's a documentary. And I think they have the Blu-ray up there, WrestleMania one you were talking oh, about. Nice, nice, nice. And this is another one that came out today. A lot of my followers are always asking me, Brendan, are you going to talk about this? Brendan, are you going to get it? Zombiever. I don't even know what, what, what exactly this is, but I don't know. I might, ch I might check it out. Maybe. Sooner or later. And guys, check this out. The Cheers Complete Series uh, came out on uh, DVD over here. $64.99 uh, $64 comes in like the big old pack here. And also, the Brady Bunch comes in a, 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 you know, a cheaper version of the Complete Series for $37, which I might jump up on. I'm not quite sure yet. So, Andrew. What did you just come across over here, man? Dude, new steelbooks, man. New steelbooks. Look at this, man. The, the fifth element. Look how dope that looks. Dude, that's one of the dopest ones. This one, Dr. Strangelove. Dr. Strangelove. This one's the, probably the coolest looking one. Spaceballs, man. Look at that. That's a killer Blu-ray. Is this one of those like pop ones? Uh, Commando and... I know some of these have been here before, like Karate Kid and stuff, but... I, I'm really looking at like this. This is pretty dope. That one's beautiful, the, the, that, That's kind of new. But like, I'm really looking at the Spaceballs one, man. That's beautiful looking. All right, guys, out of the beast right now. Didn't really find anything that I wanted to get up on because I really want that Poltergeist one. They didn't have it in there. But I, I kind of want to get that Cheers thing, but for $60. Ooh, I don't know. It's a, it's a good deal, but like, I don't know if I have the cheddar on me for that. All right, guys, we're in Denny's right now. We're getting some grub right here. Of course, I got the same old, same old, my soup and my uh, Fit Fair veggie skillet over here. But Andrew, what did you get, man? Just got some snack stuff. Just some terribly fried food and a You got some pancakes. Do, do you know how bad I want some pancakes right now, man? Dude, you need some whole grain, man. Whole grain pancakes. They're not too bad for you. Yeah, and what is this? Uh, uh, chicken strips and... Are those jalapenos? Because I think I've seen those before. That's pretty dope. But yeah. we're over here with your friend... Uh, yeah, Carlos Boy, Hello, the DJ from the last video. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he's not really uh, into the video thing right now. So yeah. we're showing us the food here. And then off to the next spot. All right, guys, we arrived to our last location of the night over here, Target. Uh, French. Yeah, for the, the people that know, speak French that watch our <laughs> videos, like I Mayfair or something. But uh, we're going to be heading on in and seeing if they have that Poltergeist Blu-ray, because if they don't, I'm going to have to get it online. God forbid. Oh. Um, Andrew, yes. we're over here where the movie section is, and um, they usually have like a new release rack for stuff, and there's nothing. There's like this like thing here. What is going on? There are literally no more movies, guys. That's it. No, wait, wait a minute. What's going on? No more movies. They're, they're, they're all gone, dude, except for like some random ones over here. What is going on, bro? Like, there used to be a whole wall of blue rizzles. What's going on? What's going on? Is, uh, uh, is Target going digital? It's time to assimilate. You got to get on the Netflix or Amazon Prime. Dude, this is Prime. strange as hell. Like, I've never seen, like, these, these lines and things and... I don't know what they're doing. Like, I probably need to grab some of these DVDs and Blu-rays before they take them away. This is weird. Like, where's the new release section, homie? Not today, man. That's crazy. No goddamn shit, dude. I guess I'm not getting no poltergeist here. Dude, oh, man, this is strange. This. Someone was taking, looking at movies and they're like, you know what? They had to decide. They're like, do I get this? The Babadook or some panties? Or do I get, I really hate my ex. And they went, you know what? Eh, screw both of them. <laughs> yeah. Really, that, that's a horrible, horrible damn movie. Well, Andrew, that's sad. That's where all the new releases would be, but there's nothing. There's nothing. You know what they, else is th this, better, this better not be like this, because this is the only Target I can go to out here where I live, and this sucks balls. I'm going to get you an Amazon Prime membership, dude. That's you are? A, it's like, it's like, you said it's like 100 bucks. 
It's worth every penny, man. I don't know, man. I might need to get up on that sooner or later, but hundred dollars, damn. Like I'm not, I'm not a big streaming guy. You know what I mean? But it's also good because if you want to, you know, buy DVDs, especially like the Shout Factory stuff, mm -hmm. and you get get it with Prime, you know, In two days shipping, free shipping. No, I know what you mean. You can't beat that. But guys, right now we'll be heading on out of here, and uh, Andrew will show you what he hoarded up on because I didn't find a damn thing today. I wanted to get that goddamn Poltergeist, man. Damn it. All right, guys, we're out of Target now. This. Very, very disappointing because they're like messing around with their store and they're moving stuff around. No new release movies anywhere. Didn't find anything today, but Andrew found a little something. Do you want to show them what you hoarded up on? Yeah, so first thing, non movie related, we just saw in here. Um, kind of a, these came out, uh, I think this month actually. Mm. It's a series two Lego minifigures of The Simpsons. Yeah. I mean, dude. And you have a collection of them, you said? No, I have like I've gotten a couple of them from the first, so I wanted to get a couple of, of the. Yeah, because you're you're series. in there for a while, like filling up these bags, <laughs> trying to make sure you can find like the. Yeah, because the they're minis. Like I, I don't want to take my chance on getting a Lisa or something like that. Yeah. So it's just you take a look at the picture and. Yeah, and hope, like, hope for Lego the best. people know what's up. There, there, there's a science to this. No, I know what you mean. And then, uh, other thing I got was don't judge me, people. But I was a '90s kid, and I grew up in the '90s with terrible sitcoms. Luckily, some of it I kind of don't watch, like you know, Full House. I know that's actually. How dare you? I like Full House. Sorry, that's just me. Okay. So, like, so yeah, so, so you can make fun of me for this one. Uh -huh. Is uh, Home, Home Improvement the, season the, one? I'm a sucker. <laughs> dude, Tim Allen. People hate on him, but you know that old cokehead dude. You know he's great. You know once he cleaned up his act. Yeah. This is a great sitcom. Santa Claus was a good movie. I liked it. I I, I still like Tim Allen. I still haven't watched his new show though. That's on TV now, like Last Man Standing or something. Yeah, it's alright. There's a girl from my high school actually plays his daughter in that show. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, Amanda Fuller, I think was her name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. But it but it's always cool hanging out with you, Andrew. Dude. Always, man. Bam, make sure you guys check them out on Twitter. Link down below. But guys, let's head on home, and I'll show. Uh, have some movies to talk to you guys about, like I said in the beginning of this video. A couple of movie reviews, so let's head on home. Later. All right, guys, I'm back home now from hoarding up, hanging out with my homeboy Andrew and Carlos and stuff like that. Even though Carlos really doesn't like being in the videos all that much. I know some people just, you know, don't dig being in the whole video thing. That's cool, but he's a cool guy nonetheless. But guys, I have a couple of movies here that I watched over the last, uh, you know, a couple of days that I'd like to talk to you guys about here. Uh, and the first one up is from Lionsgate, and it's called Cut Bank here on Blu-ray. Starring Liam Helmsworth, Billy Bob Thornton, Bruce Dern, John Malkovich, a, you know, a bevy of great people in this one and this movie takes place in a small town kind of in the middle of nowhere like population 2000 you know kind of place like they have one mailman that goes around and gives everyone their mail and things but when that mailman ends up being murdered it makes everyone in this small town kind of you know go out of their minds because nothing's happened in the small town for many years you know out of the ordinary like that and it's pretty much the chief of police played by John Malkovich's character trying to get down to the bottom of his murder and what's really behind it um, I found this movie to be really well acted uh, by the whole entire cast, really well wit written. I thought it was a really fun thriller, uh, in my opinion. Here, one one of the, like, the most fun watches I had over the last week or so. I really I really got into this one because going into it, I didn't really know you know anything about it. I didn't see any trailers or any advertisements for it, but I thought it was really damn cool. With that, with the you know the acting talent behind it, it's really cool. Cut bank on Blu-ray. And next up over here is a horror film, another found footage kind of thing, and it's called Nightlight here on Blu-ray. Uh, DVD, VHS, beta tape. No, it's on DVD, and uh, it's you know pretty much about this uh, the woods that is, it's in, it's in the small town. It's like haunted supposedly. Like kids have gone there and you know committed suicide and killed themselves and you know, like all this crazy stuff has happened in the past. But yet these kids, a group of teenagers, are going in these woods to play a game called Nightlight. You know, like run around the woods with you know flashlights shining them on each other, saying I got you, I got you, you know kind of thing. Like of course a group of them go into the woods, and of course they start getting picked off one by one and different crazy things are happening to him in the woods. It was just okay, you know what I mean? It's a total total one-time watch kind of movie. The acting is whatever. The cinematography is just what you think from a found footage kind of movie. I wasn't really impressed with it at all because, you know, like, I, I really get kind of sick and tired of found footage movies these days, especially if they're not executed very well. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't horrible. The budget seemed like it was fine. Like, it wasn't like some, some guy with this little camera in his pocket making a movie with his friend or anything, but, like, it felt like, you know, there was some sort of production value but it was just kind of, you know, lackluster to me. I wasn't really on the edge of my seat or surprised by anything that was happening in it. But that's Nightlight here on a DVD. 
And uh, next up over here is a documentary, which I was really kind of interested in checking out because I, 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 like, I'm not a super big fan of baseball, but I loved like the Ken Burns series that came out called uh, like Baseball or whatever they Ken Burns is Baseball. And this one right here is called uh, American Hercules, uh, the Babe Ruth. And this is kind of like a documentary on the man Babe Ruth, the one of the greatest ball players that ever lived that can like you know point. To you know the sky and say hey this is gonna be a home run baby and actually hit a home run and this is like a documentary about his life and how you know how he be how he grew up in like an all boys home not an all boys home but like he went to like an all boys school and how he, when he was at this all boys school he learned how to play baseball and where he found a love for baseball and how he became the man that he was and had you know like a mul like multiple wives or whatever it, it was really kind of interesting if you want to know more about the man uh, Babe Ruth definitely check out this documentary I've always liked the Babe ever since like you know like the Sandlot and stuff like that actually you know finding out about him and stuff and the kids talking about him in the movie I, I've always loved Sandlot man the babe the great Bambino and next up over here from Olive Films is a movie I, I really wanted to see again because I haven't seen it since I I was a little like a, like a little kid or something on VHS back in the day and it's called Ski School here on Blu-ray um <laughs> Man, it, it doesn't really hold up as well as I thought it was going to, to be honest. You know, it, it's a real simple kind of movie about uh, these, these you know, 20-somethings living on this, uh, you know, on this uh, ski slope hill. And uh, one of them's like a rich, you know, one group is like a rich, snobby kind of group, thinking they're the best, you know, uh, skiers in the world. And then, and then there's these other group of people that are just like laid-back party kind of dudes, like just having a good time kind of people. And it's them going against the, those guys and trying to see who's going to win the hill and take, you know, take it for themselves by the end of the movie kind of thing I, it has some funny moments in it but it's not as, as funny as I remembered it being when I you know first watched it back in the day when I was getting into these weird teen sex comedy kind of movies I say I say the picture quality is good but it, it just didn't live up to my memory of, of it when I watched it as a young kid and next up over here guys from time life is one of my favorite shows of all time. I already have the complete series uh, of the show already, so I'll probably just give this one to a friend here. But it's uh, Wonder Years, the complete third season here on DVD. Absolutely love this show. You get all 17 episodes of season three here in this uh, pack. And it also comes with like, what, three or four hours? of uh, bonus content and on season three with the cast now uh, reuniting after all these years talking about uh, you know their experiences on uh, making the show that you know just became one of the greatest shows on television in, in my opinion and I'm just very happy that Time Life has got the rights to the Wonder Years and they're releasing the seasons because it, it was just one of those shows like I always really wanted as a you know as a, a, a guy growing up and you know, because they never really put it out officially, and I was just so happy when they did it. And of course, uh, this season here features the first appearance by uh, my friend Michael Ray Bauer, because he was in a handful of episodes of The Wonder Years, and his very first appearance is in uh, season three here. Very, very fun stuff. And my favorite episode of season three, I gotta say, is called The Treehouse. Uh, you know, when... Um, Kevin Arnold and his father are making this treehouse in the back, in in their backyard, and uh, they, you know they they see this you know hot lady across the way like in her garden, and they're like you know they don't want to tell their mom that they're staring at this you know this lady working in her garden and things and just the the crazy stuff that happens. I don't know, man. I've always loved the Wonder Years. I love the music. I love the acting. Just the whole atmosphere of the whole show. I've always really loved it. But that's season three here of the Wonder Years. And uh, last up on here for my video today is uh, from Wild Eye releasing. I really could I. I I really didn't like this movie whatsoever, and it's called American Poltergeist here on DVD. I think they're just really they're, this one's coming out just because that new Pol the Poltergeist movie is coming out uh, this week, and uh, there's like you know trying to capitalize on it and stuff. But uh, this one right here is about a group of amateur uh, you know paranormal investigators you know going around trying to find some paranormal activity and things. One day they're at this one house that supposedly is haunted, and uh, they, they're not really finding anything or seeing anything. So they go home. They say screw it. We're done. We're done with this. We're not going to be searching around, you know, for poltergeist stuff anymore. But yet, come to find out, one of the groups, one of the members of the group brought something home with them and is them trying to deal with the, the poltergeist or their demon that's, you know, following them around. But that's pretty much the synopsis on this one. It's kind of poor. It's, it's just kind of like real cheap and, you know, like the sound's bad. Like I think in one or two shots, I saw like the boom mic, you know, hanging in the frame, you know, kind of thing. I think, but I don't know, man. The movie was just... You know, not not pleasing enough. You know what I mean? Like, I like bad horror movies sometimes, but sometimes they're just too bad. Well, guys, that's all I have to talk to you guys about today. Thank you so much for coming by and watching this hoarding up video. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like my videos. And I'll see you guys in a few days for my Poltergeist review. Later.